Are you tired of not knowing how long to run your sprinklers? Do you ever wonder if you are overwatering or underwatering your landscape? Have you ever thought there must be a better way? Well, in this video, I'm excited to speak with Lawrence Ying from GeoDrops about their new smart soil moisture sensor that has the potential to revolutionize your sprinkler system. Let's jump into the conversation. I really think that GeoDrops has a really promising solution, and I'm super excited to talk with Lawrence about his technology. Welcome, Lawrence. Thank you, Andy. I'm so excited to be here today and to share with everyone what we've been working on. There's sort of three things that come to mind as it relates to soil moisture sensors, and I'll just say them quickly. Number one is the accuracy of the sensor. Number two is kind of the construction and the durability. And then number three is the wireless component of the sensor. And I think that if somebody could nail all three of those components, then they have a real viable opportunity to mass produce and bring a product to market. So could you tell us about the accuracy of your sensor? Regarding the sensor technology, our um, sensor probe is way thicker. It's about 50% thicker than most other sensor boards you can find on the market. And we actually use two of them. And the way that we're actually doing this is we are doing what's called displacement. It's a magnetic field displacement. The other thing that we actually have, which is not visible on the surface, but inside these sensor panels, we actually have multiple different sense points. And so this is actually a sensor array. It basically means that we're able to sense the soil moisture at multiple different depth level. So it's not a single reading, but rather we're able to see the water propagation after you water, how quickly water comes down after a rain how long it takes for all the water to evaporate up. And from there, it's not just moisture, but rather various soil property. Very good. So instead of installing, let's say, three sensors at different depths, you can install one sensor, and then you can run your AI on the water penetration through the soil through your one sensor. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you for sharing that. That's a lot of technology in a small package. Can, can you talk a little bit about just that durability of construction? The plastic that we're actually using, and it's almost an advanced composite, is actually ASA. So these type of materials are extremely, extremely durable against um, outdoor environments. They're actually used a lot in um, uh, vehicle parts. We really want to ensure that people can use geodrops everywhere. And so if there are uh, people with properties near the coastline, right, and they actually get, say, salty wind and things like that, for example, we want geodrops to last. Can we talk about the fun stuff? The wireless. Let's talk about the wireless. We actually have a full-blown wireless antenna that can actually do um, relatively high, um, in engineering words again, high gain antenna gains um, to actually connect to home Wi-Fi. So uh, most cheap sensors out there connect through Bluetooth, right? Um, mm -hmm. And then in order for you to actually access the system remotely without being nearby, you have to start with at least Wi-Fi. Yeah, excellent. Well, I think GeoDrops looks really promising. I can't wait to install some beta devices and try it for myself. And I wish you guys the best of luck. I really do believe that Soil Moisture Sensor is the right tool for the job to automate an irrigation system. It's the only tool for the job. And we're just, the market, the industry in the world is waiting for somebody like you to bring this technology to market. So thank you so much for sharing and wish you the best of luck.